Hi, thank you for watching this video. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use Partition Wizard to create new partitions. This is a very typical situation. Uh, I have a disk with 300 gigabyte, but the manufacturer only configured single partition on it. I like to create more. For example, I like to keep my C partition for my operating system and my program. My next partition for my work documents and one partition for my music and videos and one partition for my backups. Let's start partition wizard. By the way, I'm using partition wizard version 5.0 for this demonstration. If you are still using the older version, we suggest you to upgrade your version to 5.0. You can see this is my partition layout. I only have one single partition on this disk. If I select the C partition, I noticed that the create partition button or feature is grayed out. I can't use it. If you right click on it, the create is grayed out. The reason is in partition wizard, you can only create new partitions on free space. In this situation, in this case, I have to reduce my C partition to create some free space first. Select C, move and resize. Drag the border. I like to keep my C partition, for example, 100 gigabyte. Now you can see unallocated space, or it's a free space created after my C partition. Now, you can see the create button is available. Let's create a work documents. I like to keep it 20 gigabyte. And I still have some unallocated space left. I can create a new one for my music and video. I like to have it 50 gigabyte. And the rest, I like to create one more partition for my backups. Now you can see my disk is divided into four partitions. Click apply and the partition wizard will finish the rest of its job. This is how easily you can use partition wizard to create new partitions on your disk. If you have any question, please send us email at support at mt-solution.ca.